So, welcome again in my course Power Electronics Application in Power Systems. In the last lecture, I uh, started discussion on uh, a specific type of converter based power electronic compensator and uh, it is a static synchronous series compensator, right. So, in uh, my last lecture, I discuss the basic operating principle of SSSC that is static synchronous series compensator and I also discuss how this uh, SSSC placement in a typical power transmission system uh, effects uh, on the power flow and this reactive power of the both ends of the line, right. So, in today's lecture, we will learn the application of SSSC. Before that, we, I will discuss some more aspect on power flow of a typical transmission line with SSSC. Okay. So, let us proceed. So, we are continuing our discussion on static synchronous series compensator. Okay. It is popular with its acronym SSSC that is triple SC. Now, in today's lecture, I will discuss the power flow of transmission line with SSS3. Okay. Okay. So, to do so, let us consider a single line diagram of a 3 page power transmission line. Here we have SSSC placed alright. Also for uh, doing so, we will take some assumption So, our assumptions are SSSC is lossless. Also uh, our assumptions are we consider a three fetch lossless symmetrical transmission line. Okay. So, let us consider that uh, this is sending and side voltage is V at an angle delta, receiving and side voltage is V at an angle 0 okay. and this SSSC is modeled as a controllable voltage source which is injecting a series voltage with to the line. Let us consider that series voltage is V s okay. and let us consider this, uh, uh, this transmission line is modeled as a short transmission line model with reactance x and the current flowing through this line is I. So, we write this V at an angle delta and this V at an angle 0 are voltage at sending end and V at an angle 0 is voltage at receiving end. of the line ok. Then uh, we consider that V s is the series voltage injected 
to the line by S S S C. This I represents the line current and X represents this line reactance. Okay. So, we consider this is a short line model. Okay. Now, let us see how the effect of this SSSC impacts on the power flow of the transmission line. In the last lecture, I have shown you uh, with a suitable control of SSSC, it is possible to reverse the flow of the power through the transmission line and this could be effective when there is a dynamic situation, okay? we, when we require to change the direction of the power flow. Right? Now, what we will do now? We will apply KVL in this particular uh, loop. Uh, it is a single line diagram. So, you understand I believe that uh, it represents the this uh, single line of a three page system and we assume that this polarity of V s is this. Now, if it is considered then we know that by applying KVL we will get a KVL equation that is V at an angle delta that is voltage at the sending end side minus this voltage injected by the SSSC, this is SSSC okay, which is modeled as a series voltage injection and minus this j i x is equal to the receiving end voltage that is P at an angle 0. Okay. Now, from this we can find that uh, j i x is equal to V at an angle delta minus V s minus p at an angle 0. Okay. So, this current is equal to p at an angle delta minus v s minus v at an angle 0 divided by j x. Okay. So, this is what the expression for line current in terms of the voltages at both end and the voltages of SSSC injection. Right? Now, what we will do is that we will develop the expression for uh, this power from this current. Okay? So, the complex power power at the receiving end is S r is equal to this V at an angle 0 or rather I write it in terms of complex phasor notation multiplied by I conjugate. Okay. Now, you can understand that uh, here uh, let us assume that we are doing everything in power fetch. So, therefore, actual power will be 3 times of this. Uh, so, I am just omitting this 3 uh, here, but you have to understand that this is power fetch power. So, let us consider this is power fetch. So, this complex power is power fetch power. Okay. Now, what we will do? V at an angle 0 is nothing but V and I conjugate is this V at an angle minus delta minus this V s conjugate minus V divided by minus J x. Okay. So, this is what the uh, expression is. Okay. Now, 
I can write this uh, into two part one is V I am just separating out this part that is uh, voltage injection by the SSSC. So, what we will get it V at an angle minus delta minus V divided minus J x okay, minus this V V s conjugate divided by minus J x. So, this minus and this minus will be cancelled out and it would be J x. Now, if you look at this part, look at this part, what it is actually? It is the expression for this uh, complex power when there is no SSSC in the line. So, this represents the complex power complex power at receiving end without S S S C. Let us represent it by S R O. Okay. So, then this expression would be equal to S R O, where S R O is representation of the complex part without S S S C plus this V V S conjugate J X. Okay. So, if I write this uh, once again, this here S R is equal to S R O plus V V S conjugate divided by J x. So, this is what the expressions for uh, this complex power at the receiving end with S S S C we get. So, this is the expression for complex power at receiving end with S S S C. Okay. Now, let us consider that let us consider that V S is equal to minus J K I. Okay. Where K represents the absolute value of the voltage injected by this to this uh, I line current. So, K is the ratio to absolute value. So, K is ratio of absolute voltage injection of S S S C to the absolute or to the magnitude of the current flow to the magnitude of line current. Now, if we put this over here, if we put this over here, then what we will get? Let us see. So, let us write this expression once again. So, we got S is equal to S R O S R actually is equal to S R O plus V V S conjugate divided by J x right. Yes. So, and also we got and V s we consider at minus J k i. So, if it is so, then 
we can write that S R is equal to S R O plus this V and V S conjugate that means uh, it would be uh, minus J. So, it will be plus J K I conjugate divided by J X. Right. So, I can write it as S R O plus this V. Now, you can see this J and this J would be cancelled out. So, this V multiplied by K, K is a scalar quantity multiplied by I conjugate divided by X. Now, we know that this uh, V I conjugate what actually it is? V is the voltage at the uh, receiving end side and when we multiply it with I conjugate then it would be nothing but S. So, as we know as we know V I conjugate is equal to S R S R O rather S R O. Okay. So, this represents S R O. So, therefore, uh, this would be can be written as S R O plus this Okay. So, this V and I conjugate is not actually S R O. So, this is basically represents S R because this V is the voltage and I is the current which is flowing in the presence of uh, this S S S C. So, this is basically represent S R okay, multiplied by K and X. Now, you see that left hand side we also have S R. and right hand side we get a function which is also a function of S R. So, so what we can do is that we bring it to the left hand side. So, what we will get 1 minus k divided by x which is equal to S R O. So, this gives S R is equal to S R O divided by 1 minus k divided by x. Now, k divided by x is a scalar quantity. Now, S R O can be written as uh, P R O plus J Q R O because as we know this S R O is basically representing the active power at the receiving end side when there is no S S S C plus J reactive part at the receiving end side when there is no SSSC. So, this represents complex power at the receiving end without SSSC. Okay. So, this divided by 1 minus k by x. Now, we can write S R is equal to this P R O divided by 1 minus k divided by x plus j q R O divided by 1 minus k x. Okay. So, this is what the expression I want to arrive at. Okay. So, what we can do from this uh, expression or rather what we can conclude from this expression is uh, you can see this S R is what? This S R is nothing but complex power at the receiving end with SSSC. 
okay now if you look at this expression this complex power at the receiving end with SSSC is basically equal to the uh, this PRO which represents the active power flow of this uh, transmission line at the receiving end side uh, without SSSC divided by this 1 minus k divided by x. Now, you know that what is k? k already we have defined is the ratio of uh, absolute voltage injection of SSSC to the magnitude of the line current. Okay? Now, therefore, depending upon the values of k, uh, depending upon the values of k and the relative value of x, this SR will represent uh, one complex power circle. So, basically as you can understand that this PRO and QRO they represent a and active power and active power and reactive power circle. circle without SSSC. Now, if we consider that this part, this part is equal to PR and this part is equal to QR, that means this whole expression is equal to PR plus JQR, then this PR and QR also represent an active and reactive power circle with SSSC. So, we can write PR and QR also represent an active power and reactive power circle with SSSC. Now, if you can draw these two circles, this I am leaving to you, those who are uh, learning this course. So, if you take the realistic value of x uh, in comparison to the x, if you vary this k realistically, then you will be arriving at two circles. One is uh, this without SSSC that constitute PRO and QRO, uh, QRO, another is with SSSC that represents PR and QR. Okay? Then you will understand that how uh, these two are uh, representing different power circles. So, if you take the realistic value of x and do this uh, simulation study, then uh, you will be able to understand what would be the operating uh, region as far as the realistical power transfer is concerned when we have SSSC in the power transmission line. So, therefore, what I will conclude is I, I am not interested to draw this circle. I am leaving to you. So, what I can uh, conclude from this whole analysis is that the presence of SSSC modifies the complex power circle. circle and one may uh, you know draw both the circles with some realistic data then we will come to a conclusion that what is the impact of the uh, this this SSSC in power flow. So, that is I am leaving to you. Okay. Now, coming back to the functionalities of SSSC in mitigating several power system problems and also assisting uh, this power system. So, let us uh, discuss something about the applications or applications or functionalities of SSSC. Okay. Number one. So, SSSC provides 
सीरीज रिएक्टिव कॉम्पेंसेशन सो दिस इज वेल नोन बिकॉज यू नो दैट एनी काइंड ऑफ सीरीज कॉम्पेंसेटर और एनी काइंड ऑफ पावर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक बेस सीरीज कॉम्पेंसेटर कैन एक्सचेंज दिस रिएक्टिव पावर टू द सिस्टम Uh, if it doesn't have any real power source connected to it okay now also second point that i should write is sssc can provide or can exchange both real and reactive power when a real power source such as batteries or similar kind of energy storage devices connected to the dc link of sssc okay so this is uh, eventually effective i'll come to that why it is so in fact you have already seen that uh, series reactive compensation is uh, somewhat uh, more effective as compared to the shunt reactive compensation in the sense that uh, if you want to uh, enhance the steady state power transfer capacity uh, the series compensator can do so with reduced rating so this i already have explained with mathematical Uh, derivations in one of my previous lectures long time ago before i start the svc okay now third uh, applications or functionality is that sssc can damp power system oscillations how this is uh, possible i'll come to that number 4 is that sssc is immune to sub synchronous resonance which is an important functionality of sssc or in short it is called sssr so this is an important functionality uh, why it is so i'll come to that number 5 is that sssc can damp ssr that is sub synchronous resonance okay so let me discuss all these functionalities one by one okay now let us start with the how it provides that series reactive compensation this i will discuss along with this uh, how it can exchange this uh, active and reactive power when we have a active power source or an energy storage system connected to the dc link of the sssc so to start with let us draw the control block diagram for sssc so to draw this control block diagram what is there is we have a vdc reference which is compared with the 
actual VDC measured. Okay, and error is transferred to a controller. Now, this controller can be uh, any type of controller, can be a PI controller, can be uh, any type of uh, improved controller, those things I am not discussing here. Now, this what controller will do? It will generate uh, two signals, okay. one is uh, this VD, another is VQ, I will come to that. And it from this, so control what controller will do? It will generate a VD and VQ signals, and then inside this block there is a magnitude and phase angle calculation block is there. Okay, which will generate the signal of this V s magnitude and the phase of the V s that is the angle of V s. Another comparator over here which will uh, take the signal from this uh, P L L. I hope that you know what is the functionalities of PLL. Okay. Uh, so, then it will be fed to the gate pulse generation block. Generation block and thereby it will generate the firing pulses. Now, what is the purpose of PLL? PLS is a uh, phase lock loop, you know, uh, those who are um, uh, familiar with this power electronics converters and they are basically, uh, this PLL is basically responsible to keep the operation of SSSC in synchronism with the power system. Okay. So, this is uh, what the block diagram of the SSSC. Now, uh, we have this uh, VD and VQ, one is this direct axis and quadrature axis voltage component in specifically when we have some kind of storage connected to the DC link. So, this uh, SSSC uh, is uh, with some storage at DC link. Okay. Now, uh, so this is what the control block diagram for SSSC and this is how they it will operate uh, to provide the series reactive power compensation and along with the series active power compensation to the power system. Okay. Now, let us uh, discuss what uh, how it can damp this power system oscillation. So, SSSC in damping power system oscillations. How it is possible to damp power system oscillations? Now, what do you mean by power system oscillation? Again, I already discussed this uh, in my previous lecture when in particular when I discuss this SVC and this uh, STATCOM actions on uh, this power damping the power system oscillation. I will uh, repeat it again. So, power system oscillation happens when we have this very small frequency in terms of 1 to 2 hertz which is caused by either in a particular area or uh, maybe in internal area system dynamics and this, this oscillation sometimes uh, become very crucial and if this cannot be properly damped and then this may lead to 
instability of the system. Okay. Now, uh, how this SVC or STATCOM can dam the power system oscillation? This already I discussed. So, they first sense the oscillation in terms of the rate of change of del delta. Okay. That is delta is the power angle as you know and uh, then they will uh, modulate the voltages uh, at the bus where the SVC and STATCOM are uh, placed uh, to, to increase or to modulate the power flow through the line and thereby they can damp the, uh, this power system oscillation. Similar to that SSSC also can damp the power system oscillation by sensing uh, the rate of change of del delta. Okay. So, what SSC does is SSC, SSSC can damp the oscillations, low frequency oscillations by uh, sensing this del delta del t which is somewhat similar to the rate of change of frequency. Okay. So, when del delta del t is positive and SSSC does not have the capability of real power exchange. That means, so when SSSC does not have a capability of a real power exchange, that means there is no storage or no battery connected to the desilling of SSSC. Then what it does actually? It controls, it controls VQ, this quadrature voltage. Already I have shown in the control block what is VQ. You can look at here. This is VQ. To modulate modulate the power flow through the line. Now, what sort of power uh, flow is uh, modulation is request when this del delta is positive when del delta del t is positive then that means frequency is increasing that means mechanical power is higher than the electrical power. So, V q will momentarily increase, increase the power flow. So, I should write uh, uh, this could be positive or negative. Okay. And when this del delta del t is negative, then V q will momentarily decrease the power flow. Okay. So, that is what this uh, SSSC action would be or the accordingly the controller would be tuned to do these actions. Okay. However, when when this del delta del t is positive or negative and SSSC has capability to exchange or to exchange real power 
then what it would be the Lewis? It will control, it controls V D not V Q to modulate the power flow through line. Line. Now, what it will do when del del t del t is positive? So, what it will do is it it controls this V d. It controls V d to absorb certain amount of power, absorb certain real power and thereby uh, and thereby it provides positive resistance. Similarly, when this del del delta del t is negative, V d is controlled to deliver deliver certain amount of power of power and thereby it provides the negative resistance. Okay. So, that is what it does and that is what uh, the action of SSSC where, uh, to, to uh, damp the power system uh, oscillations or uh, low frequency oscillations of power system. Okay. So, we already have uh, explained uh, these uh, four functionalities of this uh, SSSC and we, we will uh, discuss the last functionality that is uh, how the SSSC uh, is immune to the subsynchronous resonance and SSSC can damp the SSR or SSSC is immune to subsynchronous resonance. How it is? Let me explain. So, this is an important aspect of SSSC uh, that unlike this uh, a fixed capacitor or a uh, this uh, variable uh, susceptance or variable impedance based compensator like TCSC, it does not provide any series capacitor uh, to the transmission line. So, SSSC does not represent a series capacitor that is what it uh, that uh, advantage is. Okay. So, SSSC does not create a series capacitor. to a line unlike fixed capacitor fixed series capacitor or TCSC or GCSC. So, what uh, this TCSC, GCSC or fixed capacitor does that, that they, they uh, connect a fixed capacitor uh, to the power transmission line and therefore, uh, this fixed capacitor will create resonance in uh, subsynchronous frequency that is the frequency is lower than the power frequency along with the uh, transmission line this uh, inductance and uh, inductive uh, reactances. 
okay. Whereas, this uh, uh, this SSSC what it actually uh, does? SSSC is essentially SSSC is essentially a controllable AC voltage or essentially is essential SSSC is essentially controllable series voltage. It does not represent a series capacitance, no it does not represent it does not have this any series capacitive impedance fed to the system. Rather it is essentially a controllable series voltage with fundamental frequency or power frequency with power frequency. It only injects a controllable series voltage with power frequency. So, that is something uh, needs to be understood. So, it, it only uh, creates a controllable series voltage with power frequency. Therefore, uh, it is uh, impedance to the other frequencies, it is impedance to the other frequencies. such as subsynchronous frequencies that is uh, less than the power frequency is theoretically 0. which is one of fundamental property of SSSC in comparison with TCSC and uh, GCSC or even in comparison with a fixed capacitor. It, it does not create any uh, subsynchronous resonance because it is not representing, uh, it is no higher providing a uh, impedance other than the fundamental frequency. So, therefore, there is no scope of SSSR uh, that is subsynchronous resonance in SSSC. However, SSSC can provide damping to SSR that is subsynchronous re resonance. So, this is done by this is done by this is done by introducing subsynchronous voltages that is voltages other than the power frequency that is subsynchronous uh, voltages. to negate the effect of SSR. Now, how it is done uh, uh, one may go through the literature, uh, I am not discussing over here, uh, this course is already heavy. So, I, I just keep this part, uh, so but uh, this is something that one needs to understand. So, this is all together the uh, different uh, functionalities of this SSSC. Now, this lecture I will uh, specifically uh, finish with some uh, uh, discussion on uh, this uh, converter based power electronics compensators which are used in power distribution system. So, the all together all this uh, uh, these different types of converter based uh, uh, power electronics compensators which are uh, uh, constructed and controlled for this uh, distribution uh, systems 
are known as custom power devices already I mentioned. And uh, the basic functionalities of custom power devices are closely similar to the uh, this converter based power electronics compensator which I discussed like STATCOM, SSSC, etc. However, these distribution networks uh, since they are uh, very close to uh, customers, they are directly connected to the customers. Uh, so, uh, they are having uh, some sort of uh, problems which are not experienced in power transmission system. For example, uh, these distribution networks often uh, suffer from uh, uh, several uh, harmonics generated by the loads. Okay? Uh, they are suffered also suffered from the uh, voltage imbalance or voltage unbalance. And they are also suffered for several power quality problems. For example, uh, this voltage quality problem like voltage sag, voltage swell, uh, this voltage unbalance as well, uh, this voltage uh, flicker and all. So, the goal of developing those custom power devices are to mitigate to those uh, power quality problems as well in, in addition to the functionalities of uh, what we have in case of uh, flexible AC transmission system devices like STATCOM and SSSC. So, if somebody has uh, a close interest in it, they can go through the literature of custom power devices. I am not going to discuss in this particular course here because already this course material is enough. Uh, for this particular theme. So, therefore, uh, this custom power devices or the power electronic based uh, compensators or converter based power electronic compensators uh, to be used in power distribution system is another aspect of the uh, study and you may uh, go through the literature for it. So, with this I uh, will conclude this lecture and I will conclude this course as well. Uh, thank you all, thank you all the learners for uh, attending this course. So, thank you very much. So, I hope this course was enjoyable to you. Thank you, thank you very much.